20th in Bratislava in the European Championship, 7th in the Nebelhorn Trophy. This is Lorenza Alessandrini and Pia Suke. out of the lift a little early, not attain, sustaining the positions for long enough, technical panel will review. Well, they really went for it. Got to be careful what I say here. When you've got a routine <laughs> with the, the lyrics, treat me rough. Yes. yes difficult but, to yeah. dance to. If it's not an exhibition skate, it's difficult to dance to. And th there was no re relevance to the title of the music with what they did. Well, that, uh, that wasn't lost in me either, Simon, actually. I was, I was conscious of the lyrics and I thought, it's an interesting choice. And like you said, you can't really, the judges do have to reward interpretation. and. I can't really say that that was evident in the in the choreography. They did have some some storytelling at the beginning and at, at the end. It was a fun number. It's nice to see Lorenza competing again. She's formerly represented Italy at international events, and she's chosen to team up here with Pierre. And I thought, on the whole, um, a, a good performance. Again, the, all of the competitors seem to have had some twizzle issues today. I'm not sure whether or not they'll be level four. I thought that they had breaks in their rotation as well. Olivier Schoenfelder there, who coaches them. Yes, former world champion with Isabel Delabelle, wonderful skater himself. And what Olivier will, will have to offer this team over time is that increased quality of fundamental skating skills. And that's something that the French ice dancers are so renowned for. You know, we look back at Marina Anacina, Gwenda Pesera, Isabel Delabelle, Olivier Schoenfelder, all former world champions from France. And they were so known and so famed for their wonderful quality of skating skill. And that's something that, as yet, Lorenza and Pierre haven't quite mastered. And it takes such a long, long time. It really does. Yeah, they're just starting their third season together. Yes, and, and you know, it, it's so fascinating. All of these couples will have performed the same elements. They'll all be striving for the same level four and everything that they're 
that they're undertaking, but there's just a, different in, a difference in the knee bend and the, the use of their blade in what we're about to see from the likes of Papadakis and Cizeron, I'm sure, and you'll see a difference in the flow that they offer. This was the lift. Not quite sure if Pierre managed to stay for three seconds. You can see that it's a bit of a scratch. So he was heavy on the front of his skate there, so he's scratching on the toe pick, and that's a, a bit of a no-no for the, for the judges. They want to see the blade run fast and smoothly across the ice. So, let's see where the judges mark them. They're the ninth couple. And they'll finish.